Next question. Okay, you got to help me with the pronunciation because this is a word I haven't heard. I was diagnosed last year with a condition called levator disinsertion in both eyes. Okay, uh, levator. I always called it levator, okay. uh, but it could be levator, I, which would be the proper Latin don't pronunciation. Trust, don't trust me. Uh, the levator palpebri muscles are the muscles that raise the eyelids. Okay, the doctors insist it is not a complication, uh, but she's convinced, uh, she's not convinced that it's not a complication and wonders if it's a complication. She's a diabetic for 25 years and she's had an A1C 6 to 10, but uh, now she's on your program and in the low fives. Well, I would say that <clears throat> it's an almost universal complication of type one di of long-standing type one diabetes, and you even see it uh, uh, sometimes in type two, and uh, it's due to a neuropathy of the third cranial nerve, which activates the levator palpebrae muscles, and it's usually dis dis described as a reduction in the palpebral fissure. The palpebral fissure is the distance between the upper eyelid and the bottom eyelid. And here is uh, my hand is showing you, uh, let's turn it around this way. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's yeah. good. good. Yeah. Uh, a narrow palpebral fissure and a wide palpebral fissure. People start off life with a wide palpebral fissure. If they develop a neuropathy of the third nerve, it'll narrow and narrow. Now, uh, I get uh, the annual report of the Juvenile Diabetes and Research Foundation every year. And they, their membership is of parents and relatives of diabetics and also of diabetics. And I remember I used to have a contest with my secretary. I would say to her, circle the faces of the people with diabetes, because not all the people in their photos their group photos were diabetics. Mm -hmm. And uh, she learned so that eventually she got 100%. She would circle the faces of the people with narrow palpebral fissures like this. And here is the cover of a recent issue, I think it was last month's issue, of Diabetes Forecast, which is a publication of the American Diabetes Association, this lady has, uh, is 80 years old, she's younger than I, and she's had diabetes for many years, and look at her eyes. She has narrow palpebral fissures, as vir virtually all long-standing diabetics who are poorly controlled will have. And I developed narrow palpebral fissures when I was, I guess, about 35 years old, um, I didn't really um, uh, start controlling blood sugars until I think I was uh, around 39. Uh, so if you look at my eyes, you'll see that my palpebral fissures, although narrow, are not as narrow as many diabetics who have been uncontrolled for uh, uh, longer periods of time. So this is indeed a common uh, complication of diabetes. Uh, I don't know what kind of doctor it was who said that it wasn't. Uh, was he a, an endocrinologist or a diabetologist or an ophthalmologist? I don't know. Uh, but um, uh, any doctor who is a good observer, I would think even a dentist, might notice that uh, most of his long-term diabetics have narrow palpebral fissures. Gotcha. Okay. 